Hey, right, so we're all having a good day today. Uh, sitting around in the basement, taking a look at that telecom board I uh, picked up yesterday. Never taken one apart, so thought I'd take a look and uh, see what's inside it. So, uh, for those of you who haven't taken one apart, let me flip you around. <laughs> flip you around. I'll just flip the camera around and I'll show you what I got. All right, let's just take a quick look. Um, so this one that I took apart today had four boards in it and uh, two of these cables. Uh, if you can see in there, but the cables have some gold pins. Uh, I don't think there's any gold pins in there, but we'll take it apart and take a look. We'll put that, once we take the gold pins out, we'll take a look, uh, or throw the rest of that into the insulated wire bin. Uh, the power boards, got some, a couple of pretty big uh, copper burn things. Ones like this one here, they're usually pretty easy to take the copper off of, even these ones to an extent. Uh, ones like this one are not, so they go right into the, basically the motor bin. Uh, I don't think there's anything too special on this board. Some big, uh, big resistors, and that's about it. And then these were the two slot card boards. Uh, lots of chips, which is pretty cool. So we got lots of pretty big chips. Uh, these are copper bearing. These pieces here. Just throw those right in my copper motor bin. Looks like some more copper motor type stuff. Uh, it's kind of strange to see the old school resistors, you see all the new stuff, the surface mounts. It's kind of neat to see. It's a pretty cool looking board actually. And uh, this one has some pretty big uh, tantalum capacitors right there and there. And a couple more over there. Uh, some copper bearing, again some more big chips. I believe the connectors are, if I can find a light there, I think there's they're gold connectors and gold plated. The big board here, uh, gold, 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 so that's pretty cool. It'll be fun taking those all apart. Um, some more big chips. This one here had a, has a bank of the black tantalum. It's right there. You can see them all. There's quite a few. Um, I think that's about it. I'm not too sure what these ones are. These here. I think they might have copper in them. I don't know. We'll pop the caps off and take a look another day. And then, whatever that is, a little, little Nortel card. Probably some, uh, I think there's gold pins or gold plating in there anyway. Alright, so that's about it. It's pretty cool. Uh, like I said, I've never taken one of these apart before. Uh, pretty neat. If I've missed anything, I'm sure Mike and Andrew there will uh, will correct me if I'm wrong. And uh, yeah, I did miss something. I uh, I even made a mental note to make sure I talked about it, and I totally forgot. Old age is getting to me here. Uh, crystal oscillators. I got a couple, three big ones there. It looks like. Anyway, um, Mike had a uh, had a pretty good uh, video on those today. He talked about them a bit. Uh, I'm not sure if he put it up today or yesterday, but. Uh, Mike over at, I'm probably going to get this wrong, anyway I'll have something in the, in the description, it's called E-Cycle Nation, he does a lot of e-waste recovery and whatnot. it's uh, yeah, good videos from Mike, and then if you're into coins, go see Andrew over at the, uh, man, I'm going to screw his up too, Coin Roll Hunting channel, I believe it's called, so uh, he, he's uh, into looking at coin rolls and he finds a whole bunch of pretty cool coins and whatnot. So uh, anyway, yeah, go check those guys out if you want to see something uh, like into a lot of e-waste from Mike or if you're into coins and uh, specialty coins and whatnot from, uh, from Andrew. Anyway, uh, again, thanks for watching. You guys have yourself a great day. Talk to you soon. Ciao.